Henry! The sound of his wife's voice brought him back to earth with a start. Henry, whatever are you doing to that poor bear? Look at him. He's covered all over with cream and jam. Mr. Brown jumped up in confusion. He seemed rather hungry, he answered lamely. Mrs. Brown turned to her daughter. This is what happens when I leave your father alone for five minutes. Judy clapped her hands excitedly. Oh, Daddy, is he really going to stay with us? If he does, said Mrs. Brown, I can see someone other than your father will have to look after him. Just look at the mess he's in. Paddington, who all this time had been too interested in his bun to worry about what was going on, suddenly became aware that people were talking about him. He looked up to see that Mrs. Brown had been joined by a little girl with laughing blue eyes and long, fair hair. He jumped up, meaning to raise his hat, and in his haste slipped on a patch of strawberry jam which somehow or other had found its way onto the glass tabletop. For a brief moment, he had a dizzy impression of everything and everyone being upside down. He waved his paws wildly in the air, and then, before anyone could catch him, he somersaulted backwards and landed with a splash in his saucer of tea. He jumped up even quicker than he had sat down because the tea was still very hot and promptly stepped into Mrs. Mr. Brown's cup. Judy threw back her head and laughed until the tears rolled down her face. Oh, Mummy, isn't he funny, she cried. Paddington, who didn't think it at all funny, stood for a moment with one foot on the table and the other in Mr. Brown's tea. There were large patches of white cream all over his face, and on his left ear there was a lump of strawberry jam. You wouldn't think, said Mrs. Brown, that anyone could get in such a state with just one bun. Mr. Brown coughed. He had just caught the stern eye of a waitress on the other side of the counter. Perhaps, he said, we'd better go. I'll see if I can find a taxi. He picked up Judy's belongings and hurried outside. Paddington stepped gingerly off the table and, with the last look at the sticky remains of his bun, climbed down onto the floor. Judy took one of his paws. Come along, Paddington. We'll take you home and you can have a nice hot bath. Then you can tell me all about South America. I'm sure you must have had lots of wonderful adventures. I have, said Paddington earnestly. Lots. Things are always happening to me. I'm that sort of bear. Thank you.